Okay, I got a little project going here. We're going to retexture part of the ceiling where this corner here, let me back up a little bit. This whole corner used to have a fireplace here, and now there's shelves. And you can see I just draped the bed sheet up over there to uh, catch the texturing so it doesn't get on anything on the shelves. But uh, you can see in the ceiling here that there used to be a fireplace right here. And somebody patched in a piece of wall board, but they never retextured it. You can see the lines, these diagonal lines here, where the fireplace trim used to be. So what I'm using is the HOMAC popcorn ceiling patch. And what else you'll need if you're going to do something like this is a set of uh, texturing sponges. This comes with uh, two different sponges. Some has holes drilled in it, like that. This one has the holes, and you can see this side's kind of rough. And this side's a little smoother. And same, this one has no holes drilled in it, but it's got a texture kind of and a smoother side. This is the side I'm using. <clears throat> We've got a somewhat like a small popcorn ceiling. It's a fiber. It's not asbestos because this was built in 93. It's after that. It's probably paper fibers. Popcorn ceiling. So, <clears throat> first thing you can see I started to spread some of that texturing over the smooth part here. That square where they patched it in. So just spread a, a kind of uniform layer of that texturing over it and then I'll show you what it looks like once I go over it with the sponge. Okay before I started the project I made up this little board with a different texturing. I tried experimenting with the sponges in different areas. You can see how I, it has different textures, the amount of texture. So you might want to you know get some of the ceiling patch and just uh, experiment on a board and see what matches your ceiling the best. And what I'm going to go with is this one right here by my thumb. That is the rough side of the sponge without the holes in it. So that would probably match somewhat close. I tried with a paintbrush too. That was, you know, just real mild texturing. Some I added uh, some vermiculite to it, which I don't really like that, the way that turned out. This has the holes in it, side with the holes, holy sponge. I don't believe that's the holy sponge smooth side or something. So <clears throat> I'm going to try this out. I've got my texturing compound up there. You don't need to be real neat with it. Uh, it's basically sort of like uh, mudding in some drywall, you know, mud, mud patching compound. It's not really like that, but uh, you don't need to be smoothed out perfectly even, but you want kind of a uniform thickness. So here we go. I'm going to go with the texture sponge. And I can do this. Hold the camera at the same time. I'm going to start here. I'm just going to kind of squeeze the sponge a little bit. And I made the uh, texture material towards the edges a little thinner. Like I could. Basically, that's all there is to it. Just, you know, dab it on there. And I'll show you what it looks like. And here you can see that's a little thicker there. It's coming out a little heavy. So the texturing material is a little thicker right in here compared to like over here. So you can you can also uh just probably load up your sponge ahead of time. Just smear some on there before you start this. Because otherwise it may suck off too much material. So you can kind of you know wipe some away and then Come back, or you can take your 
cavity knife <clears throat> and uh, scrape some of that away if you think the texture is a little bit too heavy. But it's real simple, you know, I'm just slapping it on there. And you can see, because it's wet, it's kind of a different color, but from a distance, it looks pretty good. You know, you can see where I, hopefully that'll show in video good enough. But, uh, I'll have to probably touch it up with a little paint. And that should be good. So I'm going to finish that up. Okay, here we are the next day. I got the texture done. And you can see it's almost dry. There's a few spots where it's still wet, where it looks kind of dark. But uh, this was not textured before. And from a distance, it looks pretty good, I'd say. Not going to be perfect, but because the this texture, it's kind of hard to match without a spray gun. But, uh, yeah. Not as noticeable, that's for sure. <laughs>